So is this the official? <laughs> I know I'm everywhere. <laughs> so welcome to our waffle talk. Uh, no Justin. problem. No All problem. Right. Thanks, Terry. No I love problem. waffles. No, I don't. <laughs> Like, I, it's, it's just like new stuff. Like, I think of funny things and I write them down in here and then I gotta bring them up. Uh, like the whole Chris Brown, Rihanna thing. We started making, I wasn't sure if it was like too soon no, no. to make jokes about, but now she's recording with him again. I figured he could start making jokes. Cause I was like, yeah, it's Women's Month. You know, I didn't want to start <laughs> talking about Ike and Tina ass whooping duets like during Women's Month. But then I was like, yo, she knew it was coming. It was like all marketing ploy. Because if you pay attention to her songs, it's like, how am I going to breathe with no air? It's like, Chris, <laughs> Chris, quit choking me. Um, that may be one. I was on TV. Yeah, I was on TV. I was looking at TV the other day, and the, the fucking infomercials, and the Snuggie, the fucking Snuggies. I'm so pissed. My mom has a Snuggie. It looked like fucking uh, the, no, the, sand, no. the sand creature from the first Star Wars. <laughs> The, yeah, the Jawas, yeah. right? But then I was like, yo, but you know who had the first Nuggies? Was, I'm not sure if you remember the group PM Dawn. That was actually, <laughs> uh, if you go to uh, Blissful Memory or Paper Doll, any type of PM Dawn uh, music video, you can YouTube it. You they had Nuggies. Yeah. A little bit too. Baby, you send me out. They had like, fuck, yeah. Get their Snuggies on. Saw another commercial. It was this guy running on a bridge with his shirt off, all sweaty and stuff. And then it was like Vaseline for men, and I was so confused. And I was like, well, who else is Vaseline for? And I was like, you know, I was like, you know, if I was in charge of the marketing, you know, better one would have been like, it would have been like a close up of a 14 year old boy, home alone, and it would have been like Vaseline for men, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was always my favorite lube. I don't, like that was like the number one, like parents on a cruise ship, they're calling you before they, when they get to the airport, you got 30 minutes to clean up, can you leave prints everywhere? The fucking Chex Mix and pubic hair in the Vaseline jar. <laughs> Learn to ro work the remote control with my feet. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, fake yarns are not contagious. Everybody yawn. It's not contagious. No, <laughs> it has to be a real one. No, this is not Tai Chi, people. You oh, cannot move out me there. with your yawning. I threw it out there. But I mean, but you, know, you got to be careful out there. You know, you get back there on the scene, casual, so you always got to go, you know, make sure you got to go to the clinic. That's always fun. No. Nope. <laughs> make sure you get your not hips right. Make sure you got hips. And then I was thinking, I'm always thinking, I was like, man, economy, the way it is, it'll be cool with things, you know, combined forces. And I was thinking, it's like, man, what if you went and got you know, test it, but also at the same time, you got your credit score. Because <laughs> I'm like, dude. Only in a perfect world, man. Can you imagine this, my capitalism kicking? I'm like, dude. Like, you go in, they sit you down. It's a twofer, man. And it's like, you know, uh, you know, got great news you do, you know, test it negative. But, but you have a 520. It was, like, it, was like, it was like, you still ain't getting no ass. It was like, ah, oh, <laughs> damn. So you have multiple names? Is that, is that Well, it depends on how I feel <laughs> or what I'm doing or where I'm at, you know. No, to some folks, I'm uh, Sir, Richard, Sir Richard of Beard. Mm -hmm. Well, that's when I'm frolicking in the royal kingdom, you know. Well, of course. Uh, and... Uh, I'm the psychedelic relic to some folks, and uh, well, at one time I was uh, uh, they, bell bottom Bob. Bell bottom Bob. Yes, I was. Uh, I was one of my disc jockey personas. Well, how'd you end up in Pittsburgh? Love brought me here. Really? Yes, I uh, became somewhat enamored of uh, a lady 
that I met through antique shows back in California about a dozen years ago, I think we originally met. And uh, she's from Pittsburgh. Okay. And so she came back here, moved her back here to look after her mother, and uh, I started, you know, so I was flying back here all the time. And fell in love with it. It's a lovely city. You no, know, I intend to uh, probably finish out my years here, but I do. I, I am back and forth between California because I have family there. And okay. You wouldn't know it from looking at me, but years ago I was, uh, I was a barber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had uh, specialized in beard trims, natural hairstyles and beard trims. And these days, uh, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get a church started here in Pittsburgh. And it's a church that I think would appeal to most folks uh, called the First Church of Swing. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk a little bit more about the, uh, what, what is sort of the, what happens in the, uh, the First Church of Swing? First Church of Swing, you just, just swing, that's it. You know, you, uh, you groove, you, uh, you just appreciate, you just appreciate life, you know, and Everything the fact that we're all flowers mm -hmm. in the big garden, you know? Well, I think that sort of wraps up our segment. Okay. Right but it was great having you on the show. Okay.